We found out during the pandemic that you can learn a lot about where you live by your wastewater. Scientists were using it to see how the coronavirus was spreading in certain places, but now scientists are looking for something a little bit different, drugs. Brian Hackney has more on how scientists in Marin are seeing a very interesting trend on one day of the week in particular. As we all know about the human body, what goes in must come out. Drink, food, or fentanyl. The good thing about wastewater is that everyone is contributing. Um, everybody uses the toilet. So Haley, Hannah, and her colleagues have been working on a novel experiment this year as Marin County flushed out some facts from this. The collected wastewater from 95% of Marin. This is the first time we've done this. This is the regional treatment plant. Water comes in this building, it gets screened, abrasive material is removed, then the water flows through these tanks here, through those towers, then it discharges into a seven foot diameter pipe that goes two miles out in the San Francisco Bay. But small samples were siphoned off. And the samples right here. Analyzed for drug concentration. So we send off six samples to Biobot twice a week. And? The wastewater data is showing us that fentanyl use is high in Marin, and it's been consistently high. The data has been showing not only that. We also saw that methamphetamine use is high in Marin. Can you actually correlate drug use with, like, days of the week? Oh, that's a great, yeah, that's a really great question. We have been um, sharing the data with some of our colleagues who work on the ground. Cocaine, for example, consumption estimates are higher on Mondays than they are on Wednesdays, which might suggest that that drug is more often used on the weekends. We don't know who individually is, is contributing it, but we can tell kind of, again, that community level uh, risk. What the health department can do with this is say when fentanyl use is spiking, they rush advice to fentanyl users. Through things like fentanyl test strips, not using alone, and ensuring that they have things like naloxone or Narcan that can reverse an overdose on hand. One other thing they're watching in the wastewater as the flu season begins, what else? COVID levels. Stay tuned. In fact, the scientists watching those numbers say, big surprise here, the amount of COVID in the wastewater is slowly starting to climb. So if trends stay the same, the worst month for cold and flu will probably be in January.